Welcome back, traditional Zoomers, or whoever is watching this video. I decided to go for a night walk. Looking up at the full moon has inspired me. There is something that moves you. And it is true that people do get weird on nights of full moons. It is true. Talk to anyone in the medical field who works in the emergency room. They will tell you that there is higher instances of people who and go into the ICU on nights of the full moons. And some people might say, oh, well, maybe it has to do with there's increased light. So people are out doing stuff. There could be some truth to that. There could also be some truth that there is electromagnetism. You know, you can see the moon affecting the tides. So, and the human body is composed of so much water. So maybe there is some truth to that. I don't know. I just know that there is kind of a deep sense of uh, mystery and cosmic significance that I have been feeling tonight looking up at the moon. And it makes me wonder how many other people throughout history have stared up at the celestial body of the moon and have been very inspired. Artemis. I don't know any other moon gods, but I don't know also if the moon landing is real or not. But today I want to talk about if it's prideful to try to be ambitious if you're a Catholic. Because there is St. Therese of the Little Path. And that is very inspiring. Glorifying God in your small acts. I think God gives each of us different gifts and talents. And that can kind of explain why there's discrepancies. There's Charlemagne, who was the first emperor of the Holy Roman Empire. And he obviously was not being prideful by being a king. God clearly gives power to temporal rulers, but he also glorifies the lowly. So I think that we should encourage people who do feel a calling of some kind, a call to greatness of some kind. Um, I mean, when, when, a, when a young boy watches Spider-Man the movie or Lord of the Rings and feels inspired and wants to emulate Spider-Man, wants to become Spider-Man, that's not a negative thing. That's not him being prideful and worldly. I think that God creates those kinds of inspirations in us for a reason and we should encourage that the the notion of chivalry with the knights that's another example i think we should encourage virtue and kind of heroic adventure i think uh the book don quixote talks about that i haven't read that book but i'll have to read it soon and do a review i think that Sometimes, looking up at the stars in the sky, it makes you think about deep stuff and the meaning of life sometimes. Why are we here? And sometimes when you're in those deep places, you might feel a calling or you might feel a gut feeling. And how do you know that that is not the Holy Spirit compelling you in some direction it's not necessarily um, a worldly thing to want to strive and to achieve things on earth especially if it's for the glory of God so I would definitely encourage all of you if you feel some sort of calling in your heart in your gut don't think that it is necessarily of the devil pray about it. offer it up to God and God will, God will give you a feeling, a sense, and a guidance and circumstance to guide you where you're meant to be to your true vocation. Um, St. Joseph, please pray for us. And St. Benedict, please pray for us. All right, well, I'm going to enjoy a little bit more of this full moon. 
and I shall see you in the next one, Trad Zoomers.